But look, we hope at least the purpose of this is to, I think both of us are gonna talk about how we started our company and then what the industry is demanding. Um, we both graduated from Quinnipiac, so we know the type of caliber student that is at Quinnipiac. There are, um, the majority of you uh, would be people I wouldn't hire. And then about 15% of you I would absolutely hire and help build a company around, which I have. I have four, currently four Quinnipiac employees who work at my company, and they're probably some of the most trusted people that we have. Um, I also think it's important. I think our biggest school, we have like six kids from Rochester Institute of Technology. Um, but we try to hire kids around different schools because you know what it's like to work together. So in the real world, we hire just kind of, we group it at schools because they have a better relationship because we hire a lot of kids at uh, school. How many kids? What we have, uh, we have three, three Quinnipiac kids. Um, my business partner's from Quinnipiac. I played baseball with him. Um, and then Pat McGann, he, was, uh, he played hockey here. And then Chris Myers, he played hockey here as well. So we, we have kind of like a, a sports-centered oriented uh, culture. So it's very, very competitive. But you know, growing up at the town, town over from here, I grew up in Cheshire and, and kind of uh, coming to Quinnipiac, it's, it really changed my life. So <clears throat> I, I do have, you know, uh, very big allegiance to Quinnipiac kids, and, and I know that when somebody wants something, when you get really, really hungry in class, you're gonna go out and get it. Um, and, and working with those kids, and now my friends who are out in the field and, and in the real world, you know, everybody is kind of hustling, and, and it's, it's cool to go up against other schools. So now, like Mike and I go into these meetings, and it'll be you know somebody who went to Harvard Business School or Stanford Business School. And they're the ones looking at us, saying, "I wish, you know, I was in your position." Um, so from that from that sense, it's it's a lot of fun to kind of be the underdog um, 